Come on. Good morning, guys, from Deep Creek State Recreation Area in Nanilchik, Alaska, off the Sterling Highway. Yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you're having a great day. This is our last morning here, and it's actually kind of a nice morning. There's a little bit of a breeze, but the past few days, they've been kind of sunny, but there's definitely been like a stiff 20, 30 knot wind. So we're gonna share something with you today that I think is pretty cool in its own right. We're gonna take you to the most westerly point in North America that you can drive to while on the road system. Sure, there's roads out in the villages further west, but this is as far west as you can drive on the mainland road system. guys and welcome to Anchor Point Alaska. This is as far west as you can drive on North America. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I know a lot of people have gone to uh, that place down in the uh, Florida Keys mm -hmm. that is you know the furthest right. south. So it's kind of a really cool landmark. Very similar to Deep Creek except there's no camping right on the beach. There's about three or four campgrounds up here and they're all closed but one is still open but it's closed because there's like a bag over the iron ranger so it's free but it is awesome they still are encouraging people to get out and recreate and this is the halibut campground and you'll see the gate is closed up here this is a pretty cool sign guys anchor point alaska north america's most westerly highway point i know we kind of take stuff like this for granted it's fun though. Like, it is totally fun. It's like those things in that book that we have, like largest ball of yarn and stuff like that. <laughs> it is. And look at the stellar view. That's I know. Here. The views on this side of the peninsula are so amazing. Just the sound of the waves crashing and the cool misty air. So now we're going to head a little further south to Homer because we've been kind of doing the rural camping for a week and we Let's need go. Some city life. Yeah, some city life. And we like Homer. If we were ever to move anywhere else in Alaska, Homer would probably be right on top of the list. Homer and an Ilchik. Well, this is the Driftwood Inn, and like most places in Alaska, I think they have like lodging and RV park fishing charters, and they might even have a restaurant. People are very entrepreneurial and diversified here. But our uh, black tank is really starting to smell, so we need to dump. 
Okay guys, we got a change in plans. Uh, you know, we do a lot of promotional work with businesses and it's a very small community and we are partnering up, just kind of happened right now with the Driftwood Inn and uh, they're giving us like a killer rate on the uh, full hookup RV site. It's like too good of an offer. So in return, we're just gonna showcase the RV park here at the Driftwood Inn and some good times in Homer. Hi. Hi. Do you like it here? I do. Do you want to have full hookups for about four nights? Yes. Okay, well we have another surprise for you. Say hello to Chris and Cherie of Technomadia. We're going to do an amazingly fun 20 questions for the RV YouTube community. Hey! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Interesting. Yes. Yeah, Three. Okay, well, you're going to have to hit that subscribe button and follow our channel because I'm going to be dropping these videos probably in about a month or so once we get a bunch of them kind of in the can because it won't be fun if everybody knows the questions already. You know what I mean? I'm so there's, I'm, they're not too shocking. You know, don't worry. <laughs> you know. Come on, I thought it was that kind of show. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, don't get nervous, but look what I put the... Uh, Questions on. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the generic version. Chris and Cherie, thank you very much for uh, participating in our little 20 questions game. Uh, right now, we're just out and we are hungry. Mm -hmm. So, Don Jose's, they have a few of them around the uh, South Central Alaska area but they have coupons in the Northern Lights coupon book and you know, they have pretty darn good food. Sorry guys, we got distracted talking with uh, Rhonda and it's just great meeting people. But here's lunch, halibut tacos and carne asada tacos. Well guys, that was a, a very good kind of late lunch, early dinner, but we would like to pick something special up for later tonight. This campground to the right is called Mariner Park or Mariner's Park. I think it's about $15 boondocking right on the beach. We've stayed there before, but when we stayed there, it was the end of October and the beginning of November, and the campground becomes free on November 1. I do totally remember that, just probably because I'm a cheapskate. But yeah, so there's a little bit of useful information from for you if you find yourself in Alaska after November 1. Hey, how's it going? Good. Yeah, we did. Okay, a dozen oysters and it's twenty dollars. Those are good size oysters too. Yeah, they are. You know what we need now? What? Some fresh bread. I bet we can find that. You think there's a bakery? I think so. I love our town of Seward so much, but it is nice and refreshing being a, a town that has the same vibe as ours, but with a lot more options and things to do and there's like a movie theater here and all kinds of restaurants. Just, it's a very refreshing town. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, we are at the Homer Spit Oyster Bar. Okay, we're pulling up to Two Sisters Bakery. I've never been here before. I brought mom and grandma and Vivian here the last time we were in Homer. It's fun. I think we have bread. Ah, this is exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> And we're pulling back up to the Driftwood Inn. You can see our campsite right there. It's a very nice little notch for us. Jennifer in the office was nice enough to give us a recommendation about doing a video about the historic uh, Old Town part of Homer because the spit kind of gets all the fame and glory, but then there's this really cool little historic district down here. And the best part is we're camped in the middle of it, so it's all within walking distance. We got the ATV out because we can get down to the beach from this location. And then there's this little notch here. We'll spin this table around when the uh, sun comes out. But all in all, a great little RV park in Homer. So thanks again, Driftwood Inn. Thanks again, Chris and Cherie. But it's time to wrap this video up. I'm going to go test out the bathhouse. Ah. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get to editing and doing all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.